Hi, I'm Christina, a nurse at Lurie Children's. Today I'm going to tell you all about what it's like to have a procedure done at the hospital. You probably have a lot of questions about what happens on the day of your procedure. And we hope this video will answer the questions you and your family may have. Follow me! Having a procedure means that a doctor, who we call a surgeon, will check or fix something in or on your body. It's normal to feel nervous or scared before you come in for a procedure. Remember, the people who take care of you at the hospital are here to make you better. They can answer any question you have at any time. Your body needs to be healthy to have a procedure done. In some cases, you may have to visit your doctor's office in the days leading up to the procedure, so our care team can ensure you are all ready for the procedure. On the day before your procedure, the hospital will call your family to tell you what time your procedure will be. They will also give you and your family some important rules to follow. One of them may be related to eating and drinking. We want to make sure your belly is totally empty before your procedure. It is a good idea to think about fun things you can bring with you to the hospital. You can make a list of activities to keep you busy while you wait for your procedure. If you don't bring things from home, don't worry, we have lots of toys we can share. Once you and your family arrive at the hospital on the day of your procedure, a nurse will call your name and take you to a room called the pre-op room. Pre-op means pre-operation or before your procedure. Operation is another word for procedure. Next, we will talk about the people on your medical team. The medical team is the group of people who will take care of you on procedure day. This is a nursing assistant. They will measure to see how tall you are and how much you weigh. Then they will take your temperature. They will also put a sticker that wraps around your finger like a band-aid and a white wrap around your arm. These are called monitors. They will give you hospital pajamas to change into so that your clothes from home stay nice and clean. This is a nurse, like me. Your nurses will help you and your family on the day of your procedure. They will listen to your lungs and heart and ask you and your family questions throughout the day. They may also give you medicine before and after your procedure to make you feel better. Your nurse is there to keep you safe and answer any questions that you may have during the day. Here's someone from our anesthesia team. The anesthesia team is made up of doctors called anesthesiologists and nurses called nurse anesthetists. Anesthesia is the name of the medicine that makes you sleep through your procedure so that you do not feel anything uncomfortable. The anesthesia team will talk with your family about what is the safest way for you to go to sleep. You may need an IV for anesthesia or at another time before or during the procedure. An IV is a small plastic straw that lies inside a vein or one of the blue lines in our hand or arm. It won't hurt after it is in your arm and it will deliver medicine to your body. You may also meet a child life specialist. They know a lot about being a kid and a lot about being in the hospital. They make the hospital an easier place to be for kids by teaching you what happens when you come to visit. They can help you feel less nervous. Here is one of our surgeons. A surgeon is a doctor that will be doing your procedure. Before your procedure starts, they will come and talk to your family about it. You also might meet someone called a resident or a fellow. These are the surgeon's helpers during your procedure. When it is time for your procedure, you will say, see you soon, to your family. You will take a ride on the bed to the procedure room. You can bring your favorite stuffed animal or a blanket with you. In the procedure room, you will see big circle lights like you may have seen at your dentist's office. These won't turn on until after you're asleep. The computer screen tells the doctors and nurses about your breathing, heartbeat, and blood pressure. This helps your medical team keep you safe while you sleep. The team in the procedure room will check the bracelet on your wrist that has your name and your birthday. Remember the monitors that were used when you got to your pre-op room? The team will reapply them, and they may also put stickers on your chest that listen to your heartbeat. These monitors help keep you safe while you sleep during the procedure. You will be given a mask shaped like a raindrop that covers your nose, mouth, and chin. You will get to choose a scent for the inside of this mask, like bubblegum or strawberry. This medicine will make you feel relaxed at first, and then you will fall all the way to sleep. 
the anesthesia team will be there to make sure you stay asleep and safe during the entire procedure. Once your procedure is over, you may wake up in a room like this, called the Post Anesthesia Care Unit, or PACU. When you wake up, it may feel like you were only asleep for a short time. That is a normal feeling to have after you have anesthesia. During this time, it is normal to feel sleepy, dizzy, uncomfortable, or even sick to your stomach. It's also normal to have a sore throat. Your PACU nurse will be there to help make you feel better. Some kids will have to stay overnight in the hospital after the procedure. Kids who stay overnight can have an adult spend the night with them. We have lots of toys to play with, movies to watch, and fun activities for you to do while you're staying with us. You can also pack things from home to bring with you. Doctors, nurses, and the rest of our team will make sure you feel comfortable before sending you home. Sometimes, the doctor will have an adult in your family give you medicine for a few days after the procedure to help you heal. Your doctor or nurse will tell your family how much medicine you will need to take and when to take it. At the end of your procedure, you will feel proud of yourself for completing it. The team at Lurie Children's cares for so many different kids every day. If you have questions about something that is not talked about in this video, your family can let anyone at the hospital know, and we will make sure that you get the care you need. We already know how amazing you are, and we are ready to take care of you and your family.